Here, people are gathered at the new Urban Indigenous Center and Healing Garden for Hope and Peace for Wellness at Country Heritage Park in Milton. This space serves as a living monument and safe haven for discussion, healing and learning, a space Ontario Green Party leader Mike Schreiner says should be replicated across Ontario. I'm calling on the Ontario government to fund and make land and space available for healing spaces like what we have at Country Heritage Park, for healing gardens, for sacred fires, for places for Indigenous people to come together and to invite non-Indigenous people so that we can renew and heal our relationships with each other as we talk about the truth of the past and as we reconcile as we move forward together. Grandmother's Voice and the urban indigenous people of Halton invited Shriner and residents to attend this sacred circle on August 19th. Sherry Savel is a volunteer with Grandmother's Voice and indigenous lead with the Halton Catholic District School Board. She says government funding would go a long way in creating more spaces like this. Had it not been for the, the, hand, the, the hand up, I suppose from the CEO of the Country Heritage Park, this wouldn't have happened either. We've, I've been sitting on tables in Halton for almost 20 years. And every single time that we've asked for space in Halton, they've always said, well, maybe the next budget, maybe the next budget. And it never has been, it never came to fruition. When this building came to us, and in, you know, because we've been asking, I suppose, through ancestors and through, through our dreams, when this building came to us, we've kind of like, finally, somebody is listening. And and that is Country Heritage Park has given us a space. I totally agree with Mike that governments at all levels should be offering space to Indigenous folk in their community um, and, and having that space that you can have those conversations. Funding for more healing gardens isn't the only thing the Green Party is demanding. Schreiner is also asking the Ford government to restore funding to the Indigenous curriculum. So that Indigenous leaders can lead the changes to our curriculum so that children, all children and all peoples in Ontario, learn the truth about our past. It's why I'm calling on the government, and I recognize they have put money forward for Indigenous-led searches of residential schools in Ontario, but to make a commitment that that funding will be available for all, for searches at all residential schools in Ontario. And if the province can make these commitments, Savel says it'll be a step forward to working together. This is a long time coming that Indigenous people have been excluded from, the, from society. And now that we're included, especially here, we're included here, that it's amazing all the different things that can happen when you are included. And I think that's what we're doing here at the Centre, is just helping out people's equity and coming here to learn with, be with, and learn from Indigenous people. And then when we're leading the conversation, it comes with understanding, it comes with commitment, and it comes with a way forward. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.